bitches. You guys are listening to this shit. Oh, wait. Hold on. Fuck that up. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, bitches? You guys are listening to Denson's Shit Show. Ah, uh, get you down. <laughs> oh, welcome back, bitches. Welcome to another episode of Denson's Shit Show. Right here Woo! on Hooch, I have the one and only Miss Renee Blair. What's up? Hi, baby. You hello, look hello. so beautiful. Thank you. I'm oh, trying. I had some help today. I love I your admit. whole outfit. The the whole fit. This looks like something I would wear. Get you The shoulders are a little tight. I haven't put this on in a few months. But uh, <laughs> well, yeah, you I'm absolutely look stunning. Thank you. Stunning. You as well. I have to say I am a huge fan. Thanks. And to be sitting here in front of you, I'm just like Keep it cool, dudes. Oh, Keep it you. cool. I'm surprised I haven't, you know, this is the first time I'm like actually meeting you because we're friends on the internet. But, you know, to actually sit we here are. in front of you, I'm like, oh my God. Nobody. Yeah. I feel like um, there's been a few people the last few months that have stopped and be like, you guys need to meet. You would be soul sisters. You guys are both wild and fucking crazy. Girl, so I'm I very excited. Wait. I can't wait until you pop your baby out because I was even telling them, I was like, me and that girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I I really miss fun. Oh, but you know, but we'll have it again. But when I tell you the moment you see, even though it's a pain in the ass, I ain't gonna lie to you. Giving birth is a pain in the ass. I'm gonna cut it to you straight. Okay, yeah, I still have to do that. <laughs> yeah, you still have to do that. <laughs> um, you know, but I'm just hoping for a safe pregnant, you know, labor Thank delivery you. and all that because you never know what fucking happens. No. And maybe I don't want to tell you my horror story, but well, I kind of want to hear now. Oh what? But- I mean, did you have a tough l- delivery? Oh, well, girl, yeah. This, she okay. wouldn't come out. 18 no. hours later, oh, yeah, you're gosh. laying there all numb. You wake up, you're all wet, and the nurse is like, shit, your water broke. When the fuck did that happen? Emergency oh C-section. So anything could okay. just go wrong. Well, I have so many questions, but I can ask you later. 18 Ugh. hours is a lot, though. Do you need multiple epidurals during that time? No, just one. Just one at last? Just one. Keep clicking that button. Oh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> just, and I, just keep, all I can say is just keep clicking. In that yes! damn but okay. just like you know i i vape obviously and to you're know. gonna call that little button clicker your binky where's my binky I've ar- <laughs> everyone's like are you gonna do it are you gonna do natural i'm like i can't wait for a buzz again so no, no i'm gonna take it <laughs> i'm gonna take it honestly <laughs> I, the, the girls who do it naturally and this is my fucking mother she'll be like i had twins naturally and vaginally she just has to throw the word vag in there of course because she's fucking proud i guess so just you know just oh yeah you're a twin wham bam one yeah. out wham yeah your mom's out. a rock star i will say that well, that sounds very tough well i'm 30 years old and she's still fucking telling people at parties <laughs> like jesus mother give it a rest <laughs> oh my god that's amazing <laughs> but you know any questions you have to ask like girl yeah i'm here Thank you. Uh, I am here. <laughs> Thank you. So I'm going to just dive right on in. And I kind of felt embarrassed when, you know, I, I love Lainey Wilson. And the fact that somebody, you know, came up to me, I think they were drunk. And I was wearing my hat and they came up to me like, Lainey Wilson. I looked back and I was like. I am not Lady Wilson. Oh, <laughs> you look back. That's amazing. Yeah, she does have a nice booty. But oh, yeah. From what I've seen, you do too. So I take it as a compliment. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to get there. Wearing <laughs> uncomfortable heels every day of my life keeps me in fit. Demps does not work out. All right. That's, oh. This is my workout right here. <laughs> but when I went up to Lady Wilson, you know, I told her, I was like, you know, wait in the truck. That, you know, as a single mama with my past and everything, that yeah. song just spoke to me. You feel it. And that, honestly, that's how I got introduced to you, even though I'm still a fan of your music. I was like, wait, Renee Blair wrote that? What the hell? So my mind was just blown. So I have to ask you to come up with lyrically, because it's, it's, a, it's a lyrical like song. You feel it. Did you go through anything like that? For you to experience, Ooh, to wow, write that. Wow, we're just starting heavy. Let's well, go. Yeah, I'm um, curious. Yeah, because- life is short. Um, so I will be completely honest. The boys are the true genius behind the subject matter for that song. Okay. We have a studio at my house. My husband writes out of every day. So the song was written at our house, and they were on the idea. And halfway through the write, my husband texted me and was like, "Hardy." is really looking for a duet for this album. 
and he uh, was wondering if you'll hop on this and sing the demo and like come work on it. So I was like, I don't know, on my way home from a right or the gym right. or something. Mm -hmm. I just remember like pulling up and and uh, they had sent me like a little rough of like kind of what to sing, sing for the chorus. Mm -hmm. And the second they sent it to me, you were like, I yes. just I was like, oh, this is like not the everyday average. Hardy and Jordan. I mean, my husband and Hardy have written, they wrote God's Country together, but they've written some other like fun, like they wrote Rednecker. <laughs> right, so, like, when Redneck I, Country. Right, yeah, when I think yeah. of them together, I'm expecting like fun, the wild fun, boy. Throw back some beers yeah. and kiss some Exactly. Ass, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I got home and I laid down the girl part and then truly my contribution to the song was all the have mercies. And, and so, it's, yeah. it was just, you know, uh, and I always tell people, I don't really talk about it a lot on the internet. You know, I'll talk, I like go on my friend Bunny's podcast, you yeah. know, where I laid it out on the fucking table. But having a domestic violence background, yes. I'm telling you, as soon as I heard that, I cried. So I'm going up to Lainey Wilson, like, I fucking love that song, yeah. dude. So, but congratulations, Thanks. you know, to all the success that Thank song, you. you know, from an outsider's perspective and, you know, somebody who went through all that, I'm yeah. telling you, we feel that. And as a mama, you yeah. know, I, 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 I did watch my mom go through some stuff like that when I was younger. I, I won't, I think as a kid, what's, what's really interesting or tough is when you're a kid, you think every kid's household is just like yours. Yeah. You don't realize that like things are different in other kids' houses because mm -hmm. you're just a kid and all you know is what wh you where know. you wake up. Yeah, yeah, what you know. So um, I had I had a very interesting, like, rough... Childhood. Childhood in, in some ways. Like, there was a lot of it that was really awesome. I wouldn't trade for anything, but I was definitely exposed to some real shit. Real shit at a and young age. And so when I hopped in the booth, like, I grew up loving, like, Aretha Franklin and Whitney Houston and big <gasps> singers. Yes. So when I when I went to do the vocal and do that whole song, the Have Mercy part, I just heard this pattern in my head of, like, the I think also the emotion that mm -hmm. I... From, like, the little girl wanting to sing out through me and, like, have that passion behind, like, have mercy on this guy for essentially killing an asshole. Yeah. Like, you know, I mean... I think that the reason the song has been so wildly successful is because of the juxtaposition it puts you in mm -hmm. of does one, does writing a wrong make it, right. is it wrong? Right. Does that make sense? Like, yeah, like he's <sighs> still murdering someone, which you know murder is wrong, but I think, and I don't know if this but is here's you. here's the thing, right. I'm, I've been through my own shit, but I... I uh, you know, we might have to chop this and edit some shit out, but there are some <laughs> days, you know, that I yeah. wish I'd put that fucker behind bars. Well, I'm not going to lie. And uh, it eats me up till yes. this day. You know, now I I'm, think mm -hmm. truly a person that harms others, whether it's women, children, other men, themselves, right. It becomes a pattern and who they are, maybe. So if you really like, again, it's funny because I get harassed on the internet all the time about that's not realistic. He would never actually murder a oh, guy he's Jesus. never met. The internet and is I'm like a fucked up world. Well, I'm like <laughs> Batman would go and kill bad guys, but he has three hours to explain his story. We have three minutes as songwriters. Right. So you do not get as long to really dive into the story mm -hmm. as a songwriter. And it is a fictional story. Like we will just start there. It is a fictional tale put to lyrics that is three minutes long. Maybe it's a little bit longer. But but anyways, people can relate to it. Yeah. And, and so I think the biggest concept of that, of the whole takeaway is that if this guy in the song who was murdered did this to the female, Lainey, let's mm -hmm. say, um, I sang the demo. So I still always like have Replay demo in your head. Yes. Yeah. You have I'm like, if, they, if he was doing this to me, it probably wasn't the first girl. Mm -mm. Probably wouldn't be the last. Mm -mm. So... There We're just go. gonna put it into it. There you go. But I will say, you still eat me up to, and I know he's fucking watching. How are oh. you doing? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Listen, they, <laughs> they always <laughs> will, won't they? Oh, uh, but no, I, you know, now moving forward, you know, yeah. I moved back home. I've raised a daughter on my own, my beautiful Lily Lynn. Love you, baby. Your daughter's uh, name is Lily? Lily if Lynn. I, if this was a girl, that was going to be my girl I name. I was going to ask you, what yes, are you having? It is a boy. Oh, now yes. I have best friends with boys and girl, just hang on. 
Oh my gosh. Hang on. I keep hearing boys love their moms, which I'm excited oh, they, about. Yes, yes they but do. But mm-hmm. when you walk into a baby clothes store, it's all girl clothes. No, well, but it's like a can... tiny little shelf for boys. <laughs> You're going to have to like do good online shopping. Yeah. I, mean, I will say shopping for girls is so much fun. It seems like I'm the time of your lie. life. I would, I'm a little envious of that. Oh, uh, well, I just, I can't wait. Yeah. I can't I'm wait. Excited. We're two months down. I'm like, we have two more months. I have two months. Two months. So, what is the first thing that you are going to do once you like see this beautiful creation that you made what's the first thing on your mind that <laughs> well, you immediate- have bo- that Renee wants to do? immediately a drink came to mind <laughs> I was like take the baby give me a, some champagne please to I celebrate drinking uh, it's funny because uh, yeah wait in the truck obviously just went number one and I'm like I'm gonna get so drunk in August once this baby <laughs> comes to celebrate Leo a Leo. So I'm a August birthday, but I'm a Virgo. I'm at the end of the so month. So close. So I was secretly like hoping for another <laughs> Virgo baby, but as long as it's born in August, I will take it. Cause I'm my a- brother's in August birthday too. So really? I'm, I'm like selfishly want to keep it. I in like August. to play a game. Yeah. Guess, guess Dempsey's zodiac sign. What do I look like? Like what energy do I just like project? I mean, to I could say a fire sign. There's several others besides Leo. So I mean, are you a Leo? Is that why you just jumped up? Can I say Leo? Are you yeah, a Leo? I was okay. like, damn, she got it on the first try. <laughs> well, you seemed excited about it. Oh, so yeah. I'm, I'm I'm proud to be a Leo. I'm loud, I'm not. When's your birthday? August 20th. 20th. I'm 27th. Okay. All right. Same birthday I feel week. Like we're all going to have to party. Uh, I'm going to be together. ready. <laughs> oh, I will be. I'll be. I'll be like, hey, I know you just gave birth and all, but no, do you want to come meet me for a cucumber martini, or please? Or seven. <laughs> or seven. <laughs> I swear, I swear um, as I get older, I limit my intake because I get so fucking hungover these days. And like, I just, okay. I'm not 21 yes. anymore. I'm 30, like going to be 30. And I'm like, what the, f- this is shit i'm bitching at my body i'm like god bless it <laughs> so, well i think i mean i'm obviously not drinking right now because i'm with child but there's been a few nights i've been like trying to rally with my friends where i'll still like hang out with them <laughs> and i'll wake up in the morning not having had a drop of alcohol but only like a few hours of sleep and i'm like mm-hmm. maybe part of the hangover really is also lack of sleep yes because i'll wake exhausted. up and feel hung over and i'm like but i didn't even drink this doesn't make sense so you're exhausted I guess I would just say sleep in, but you're also a mom too, so maybe you can't do that. But let me tell you something: those mom night those mom night outs are gonna hit you so different, girl. I'm not even playing, and I feel like <laughs> me and you are gonna be getting into some <laughs> rowdy ass times. I was telling them, I was like, oh my god. <laughs> well, you gotta make the most of it if you can't do it whenever. Oh my goodness, I do have to tell you, you know, being a <laughs> single mama, you know, just raising a girl on my own. I love my country girl hits like you know pop something to bop out to i will say i have been such a huge fan of hearts in your head oh i you. fucking love that song oh i was gosh. about to ask can i cuss on here yeah i fucking can yeah i love that damn Please. song i would be offended if uh, you did <laughs> well <laughs> i know somebody was like how many times can dimp say the f word i'm like a lot we my my <laughs> husband and i've been joking that we secretly like we're not obviously actually hoping this but yeah we're like there's a good chance our son's first word could be fuck because we drop a lot of f I want to say Lily Lynn. I mean, <laughs> she's so sweet. She knows not to say that kind of shit, and she'll, like, cover her mouth in yes. a song or something. But at home, she'll look at me, and she'll go, can I say it? I'm like, yeah, I don't care. Those are at home words. I don't know. Just don't yeah. go to school saying it, you yeah, know? Yeah, true. Uh, so I do have to ask, you know, being, I'm a single mama, but you have a, a beautiful marriage, you know, with your um, husband and everything. Thanks. I'm, you know, I look at that. I'm like, one day, Dems, maybe I'll find that. <laughs> Somebody keeps telling me Dems is gonna marry a country singer or something, but I'm like, <laughs> I don't know. I'll fucking love the toxic bad boys for some fucking well, reason. Well, a lot of the artists are toxic <laughs> bad boys. <laughs> I, I will say, so maybe you'll get both. <laughs> I do have some secrets <laughs> that I keep to myself. I do know that, but oh, um, we I will, will have drinks over that one day because <laughs> I do as well. We'll let all oh. the skeletons <laughs> come <laughs> out. Let's go to the Soho. I feel like all secrets are safe at the Soho. Oh, gosh. Yeah. But um, I have to say, you know, do you do you ever worry about balancing out your, you know, 
your profession, being a, a new mommy, is that something that scares you a little bit? Like how the hell, because obviously you have a wonderful man in your life who's there, supportive as well, but he's busy as well too. So are you guys nervous on like how this is going to balance out? Well, we do have some artist friends that have said, given us great advice in one word, which is nanny. Yeah. <laughs> Girl, said, I hear that. I finally I was able to nanny. afford one. Um, so, hey. No, but you know, I... It's it's really interesting. There's a lot of me that, like, obviously I look down and my stomach is growing, so I know that I'm pregnant. Yeah. It, uh, it takes you about five I, months. I peed on the stick. It said it said it was happening. Like, yeah, How many so, sticks did you pee on? Uh, well, God, one, and I just knew. This is creepy. I didn't believe my ass. I had, like, 30 of them fuckers this just laid out. This is creepy. <laughs> like, literally, I was standing at a different radio station, and I... Like, you know how, like, you stare off into space and then people are like, hey, come back. Uh, yeah, okay. And, you hey, hey. Mm -hmm. and I was, like, staring off and I remember thinking, I think right now in this moment, mm -hmm. I'm getting pregnant. I'm pregnant. <laughs> and I was like, there's no way you know. And then, like, three weeks later. You just know. It's weird how a woman's it was, body. I've never had such, like, a otherworldly, out-of-body, like, experience like know. that. You're like, I But know I it. swear I knew. And then, like, 20 minutes later, my best friend from childhood, who was my maid of honor, texts me and goes, I don't know why. I just feel like you're pregnant. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> my telepathy yeah. senses I was like, here. well, I am hungover as fuck Wait, right now. <laughs> I should hopefully not. Girl, so. don't feel just, Lily. Lynn was a, a crazy ass night on fireball. So, right. <laughs> just <laughs> and now is she a little fireball? Oh my gosh, it's like <laughs> fighting in the mirror. I'm like, oh my god, but I wouldn't change it for the world. I, you know, I, the lifestyle yeah. that I lived versus the lifestyle that I had moving back home, starting mm -hmm. from ground zero up, waitressing, busting ass, like just yeah. fucking, you know, living on food stamps, like to everything. Like we're talking the struggle girl to now what, uh, you know, I'm a hustler. Like anything I see, I, I see a dream. I'm gonna go fucking chase after well, it. Well, so you know? to answer your question, I mean, I would honestly say I would look at someone like you and think, it, being in, I've been in Nashville for 15 years. Sometimes I'm a little embarrassed to admit that because it's taken me a lot longer to get where I want to get. But you're making but it, I, babe. I would look at someone like you, and I think it's a misconception to women in general, regardless if you're in the music industry or any industry, that you have to slow down once you have a kid or you have to mm -mm. change so much about your life. And and I have other women, like mm -hmm. again, I'm you included, that I look at and I'm like, it's why do I have to be scared that my my life as I know it is over? What if you look at it as like your life is just it's getting changing, started or changing because now you have more to work for, mm -hmm. more to live for, mm -hmm. more reason to wake up and prove to not only yourself, but another human of like, hey, mama's going to go like mama used to mm -hmm. hustle, but now I'm going to show <laughs> well, you because I want my kid to, to be proud of me. Mm -hmm. I want my kid to be like, wow, my mom is a superwoman. That's, she can do a lot. That's what Lily is. I mean, granted, she doesn't remember the bad days, but right. you know, but she's seen, I've given her, a, yeah. I mean, hell, I get hated on the internet. How dare you take her to a concert? How dare you, you have your child at this event? I'm like, screw you, dude. My kid's yeah. going to have the best childhood memories, like yeah. meeting awesome people and being exposed to music because you know i fucking love music yeah all i can say is is um you find a balance i don't know how you do it but you just find a balance yeah. and if it works it works but to have your little mini me that you created and you bringing him to the social life like what you do with yeah. you and your husband it's the best fucking feeling those little eyes <sighs> looking up to you in the crowd i, I can't tell you what you feel like you literally yeah. feel like a super woman. Mm. You're like, oh my gosh, like I'm fucking doing this for you, dude. <sighs> I'm doing this for you. Yeah, I know. I was like worried I was going to cry on this damn podcast with you. I was like, man, we're going to hit some, we're going to hit some I touching mean, I, moments. I'm not going to lie. I am terrified because I still in so many ways feel like a kid. Yeah. So to think about having to be the adult for a child is terrifying. It's a little overwhelming, but I, you know, it also shifts your perspective. Like I know you were talking mm -hmm. about your mom joking about having twins. Oh, yeah. And I look back at my parents and I, as a kid, I remember thinking, you know, whether it's changing a light bulb or how to 
boil water on the stove. We think our parents have the answers to my everything. Parent, my mama still doesn't have the fucking <laughs> answers, and she's like 50-something. She don't right. know what she's still doing but in this I, world. I have a different... But, I mean... You realize all the corny cliches are corny cliches for a reason right. because they really are true. Mm -hmm. And I think that I look at my parents differently now and I'm like, they were just kids trying to figure it out. Dude, I literally, like, my dad's on his fucking fourth marriage in Russia right now, bringing no. home a Russian wife. Like, my parents still don't know what the fuck they're doing, okay? Okay, <laughs> my, my husband and I's favorite so, show right now is 90 Day Fiance. I and I want to know about your dad. Please I tell me. No, I signed him up. I paid shit. I'm about to have a new Russian, you know, stepmama here no. soon. And I'm so proud of my did dad. They meet, I'm assuming they met on the internet. He did. <laughs> Otherwise, it'd probably and be hard to meet someone across during, the ocean. During COVID, his ass went over to Russia and a girl. Did he get stuck uh, there? Uh, no, thank gosh he didn't. But I'm telling you, it is a 90 day. F poor th He's like 50 something. He just wants to be loved. How old is she? Can I ask? <sighs> Tell me. I don't you don't have to. I don't know. I'm just trying. I think she's like 30, like my age. I love it. With a Whew. seven year old son. And I was like, damn, dad, you're redoing all this over again. But, you know, my dad was never around when I was growing up. He was a truck driver. So I feel like he feels like this kind of void. He he can be a parent. Are they doing father. like the K-1 visa? Oh, yeah, girl, we're doing it. Oh my gosh, I can't, I, this is all I oh care yeah, about right now. we're doing it. I'll send you all the, I'll, how about I just send you his Facebook, okay? And you can just Please. go creep later. <laughs> I can't even, I had no idea what 90 Day Fiance was about. I figured oh, I'm it was addicted. A, a trash TV show that was like, they put all these random yeah. hot Americans in a room and they have 90 days to like find their husband. Uh -uh. I had no idea That's it was some real like life shit, overseas. <laughs> like, like uh, we are so hooked. We're now, we finished every season that now we're on the spinoffs the whoop. before the 90 days whoop, which whoop, is where your dad's at <sighs> honestly i thought about going on 90 day fiance and dimps finding a sponsorship that's a real thing having where, a man sponsor you what's your favorite accent uh, like if you had to i pick. dated a russian definitely uh, uh no he was like does feed done ya i'm like huh <laughs> well, okay <laughs> And I've started speaking Spanish to him, huh? <laughs> I like a nice Australian or like oh, British. British. You sound yeah. like you're from London. You sound like you're, you're from, from London. London. <laughs> <laughs> Name that movie. Oh, it's with Russell Brand. Yes. Is it, it's not I Love You, Man. Um, gosh, get him to the Greek? No, no. forgetting Sarah forgetting Jessica. Forgetting Sarah Marshall. That was going to be my next guess. You sound, sound like, like you're from London. London. <laughs> you know, it's so funny. Good. Every time I meet a European British person, I don't know why. Oh, that's the fucking first thing that comes out of my fucking mouth. Honestly, same. It's kind of embarrassing. I'm like, Jesus, damn, shut up. It's like, so good. I just, I, I quote that a lot. I love uh, it. But, you know, going back to, you know, I am a kid. I, I'm a, I'm an outgoing person, mm -hmm. you know, even sober or whatever. I am yep. just a high energetic person, yes. you know, and I think it's a, a good thing to show your kid you can always have fun yeah. wherever you're at you know make the most of life right and if that's one thing i can show my daughter is it doesn't matter where you're at who gives a flying fuck who's watching you live your life in the moment girl like and i think that's like the biggest thing you know teaching a young girl or even yeah. any kid because our society we're exposed to so much yeah and I, I do i mean i i do struggle with that i can't lie i think people are going to judge you and like it or anything well, like that. I, even, I mean, honestly, even reading things on the internet about my friends that are moms and watching strangers just pick drag. apart your fucking life. And I'm like, literally like, like some of my friends I know are like the most beautiful souls mm -hmm. and are trying so hard. And at the end of the day, I'm like every single person watching this now or watching anyone on the internet, we're all human. There is all not human. one perfect human. And why hey, is it? I just, I get very stressed out because I, everyone, and you're pregnant. So stop oh reading that shit. <laughs> well, everyone is wired differently. And I just, I will never understand a human that is wired to like be mean to strangers on the internet. It's like my biggest pet peeve Girl, in life. Girl, when you find out, you call me. Oh my me, God. Okay? I just, I know. I'm like, I can't even be mean to someone I know, let alone a stranger. I'm like, I just, it's not how I'm wired. And it just, it irks me. So I'm not excited for like, I'm sure I'll be like having yep. a glass of wine, but writing a song and holding my baby and people be like, she's drinking, holding her baby. And I'm just so like, what? Sorry. I'll tell you what, your Sorry. mama bear, as soon as you pop him out, your mama bear instincts, <sighs> you're going to, I'm telling you right now, you're not going to, 
just call me after you give birth. Well, not after. Enjoy the moment. But call me a week <laughs> later. But, <laughs> enjoy that special moment. I'm I have to say, you know you're trending right now with Holy Cowboy, right? I, I've i heard. Yes. I, got, I did the filter and I... Uh, I you got did? the romantic one. I was like, I don't want a <laughs> fucking romantic. I want a toxic one. I want a toxic cowboy. The bad boy. The bad boy's on there. Try it again. Keep oh, going until you get the girl, one. Girl, I love toxic. Do you see my wounds? So what is this from? <laughs> Damn. Went and fucked some shit up this past week. Did an unholy cowboy do that to you? He is something. That's for sure. Oh, <laughs> this sounds juicy. <laughs> Are you just? I just don't think dimps and motorcycles work out at the moment. But I've broken damn. almost every bone in my body, so I would probably never get on a motorcycle again. I'm terrified. I should have worn knee pads. Oh, elbow pads. Yeah. Should knee pads, called elbow my pads. lawyer before. Be like, can I do this? <laughs> do you remember when we were growing up, though? Like, knee pads and elbow pads were kind of cool. Not a thing. No, I had to wear them like rollerblading Not down me. the street. My mom would be like, don't put your blades on without your pads. Not me. I wish my they were cool. Damn, mom, dad, you fucking just send it. <laughs> then again, my daddy gave me a fucking little go kart at the age of fucking four and five. And I ran so over you're my fearless. Twins. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, girl, I'm a fucking daredevil. No, I broke so many bones. I was like afraid of like the wind blowing the wrong way. I was like, I'm going to fall over. <laughs> yeah. I got oh. the ro- I, yeah I got the romantic cowboy, but I, I want to s- is the romantic one Clint Eastwood's son. I he's think a so. babe. Hold on, hold on. Oh, he's a babe. I'm gonna do this right now so I can show you which one. No, please don't be romantic. Please don't be romantic, <laughs> cowboy. So while I'm looking this up, what is the next move? Because you just released this song. <sighs> I know the next move is to give birth. That's for sure. Yeah, I've got a lot uh, in the pipeline. (laughs) Um, There's so, well, truly, I feel like a girl like you is who I'm writing this whole new, or wrote this whole new album for. You Like a perspective, you look at me. I'm about to tell you, yes, and I'm going to tell you why. So. (laughs) Don't make me cry now. No, no, no. (laughs) This, I, you know, Beyonce has Sasha Fierce. Right. Uh. Granger Smith had Earl Dibbles. Mm-hmm. And so... Ooh, an alter ego I, being This released. next album is an alter ego album. I'm really excited about it. Because there's, you know, being a female in mm-hmm. country music, there was a huge part of me that was like, you know, I'm not like shitting sparkles every day and like in frou-frou dresses, which... I'm a freaking... There's uh, something for... Like, there's something for everybody, I believe, but that mm-hmm. tends to be in the, you know, since I've been here something that's just been really successful for a lot of women. And that's just not necessarily who I am. I've always been obnoxiously loud. People think I'm way drunker than I am See, all the time. I swear I'm fine. I'm just loud. Like I'm the loud girl and I know I'm obnoxious and I can't help it. Like sometimes I try to tone myself down, but it's not authentic. It's mm. not who I am. Mm-hmm. So um, I will say being pregnant, I'm so exhausted that it, that is quiet. <laughs> I know, me. girl, you're, it kind of wears you down a little bit. Yeah, I'm, I'm quiet, but not on purpose uh, or not by choice. But anyways, um, so I was, my husband and I were down in Florida and I have always had a weird thing with carbonated drinks. I take one sip and I burp like the most bur- I don't do burly that. man. I take a sip of, a, of even if it's like a, a soda, it doesn't have to be alcoholic, but usually it, there's alcohol in it. So I'll take, I took like a sip of, I don't know, like a Jack and Coke or something. This mm-hmm. was like before I got pregnant uh-huh. and I just let out like, oh man. <laughs> And I look over at my husband. I think we were either, we had either just gotten married or just were about to. And I was like, <laughs> are you sure you wanted to go with yeah, this? I was like, uh, sorry, honey, my <laughs> hillbilly's showing. And for some reason in the next breath, I just was like, fuck Billy. Hillbilly is a dude. And I'm a hillbilly, but I'm a girl. Where's the hill Betty? Hill Betty. Did you see that tooth fairy thing that I did with my daughter? No. What I imagine what your tooth fairy would look like. No. I've heard you say that. I was like, oh my God, that's a hill Betty right there. Hill Betty. I, I, I think I scarred my kid. Really? For the tooth fairy. Anyway. Oh. Well, oh, has she you. lost any teeth yet? Oh yeah, girl. Oh, We're right. almost, so I the think, tooth fairy's visited. Sometimes I forget. That's Be okay. prepared. Because when they wake up and they're like, the tooth fairy didn't come. You're like, oh, shit. I feel like, I owe you. I'll get you on the next one. We'll double it. <laughs> I swear. It's the worst fucking feeling. Like, you were like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, well, she, she must have a lot of a lot of people to visit last night. So your next um, is But yes, yeah, so Hill Betty, this light, light bulb went off. And... When I thought of Hill Betty as a female, like when you think of kind of Hill Betty as a dude, naturally I think like overalls, maybe like missing a tooth or like 
basically my dad's hometown of Chamoy, Missouri. <laughs> Chamoy, Missouri. My Shemoy. dad's a nice Say old that Chamoy ten times. boy. Chamoy, 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 oh, Chamoy boy. Chamoy, 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 my dad calls it. <laughs> uh, but so I, I grew up obsessed with the movie Coyote Ugly. <gasps> Stop. That is like, yes. that's my wardrobe. Leather pants with some black, like, boots. Yep. So I actually, there's a theme song that I wrote for the album. The, t the song is called Hill Betty. But it's like, she's a lace and Levi, snake boot, knee high. So Hill Betty's aesthetic is like lace, leather, denim. Yeah, snake, girl. You know, just, just the, the Leopard. girl that's... <laughs> Rough around the edges, mm -hmm. likes to have a good time, unapologetically so. And this is about me, shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I just felt like, you know, there was so much of me that felt like in order to make it in Nashville, I needed to tone down who I was. Mm -hmm. And then I was afraid if people actually found out, they'd be like a little scared. But now, if, if I blame it on the alter ego, I'm like, Betty's fucking wild. <laughs> that's not me. That's Betty. Don't ever tone it down. Don't ever. You're doing an absolutely fucking Thank amazing you. but Don't I ever it's it funny down. so when I found out I was pregnant I had just come up with I was deep in writing the Hill Betty album had just come up with alter ego the concept for this whole launch and I was bringing Betty to life almost a little uh, too she's much coming alive so Hill probably a good Betty. thing that I got pregnant or else we were headed we were gonna head down a bad Betty path <laughs> a bad Betty path she's a bad Betty but um. anyway so yeah it's it's just been Really fun. I feel like, you know, it has taken me 15 years to dial it in and really figure out, okay, how do I describe myself? I'm a hill Betty. Hill like, Betty. Like, when I go out, I, I'm going to be the loudest girl at the bar. I, I think, might get kicked out, but here we are. I and, and put that and on I my next well. IG post. Yeah. yeah. Don't blame it on me, Bill, but blame it on the hill. It's my Betty. And, and so the, if hill Betty had a mantra or mm -hmm. like a mission statement, it's just that inside every woman there's a bad girl. There is a bad girl. Not everybody's a goody two shoes. Well, think Let about your demon to come out right of now <laughs> down on Broadway. Let's mm -hmm. just talk for a second about what's happened to Nashville in the last five to ten years. Bachelorettes. Ooh. Okay, oh, that's a good time. Sometimes there is I like someone to... right now puking on Broadway. You know what I like to do? I like to get a hot dog and sneak out Aww. a drink out of Tootsie's. Don't Aww. ask me how I sneak out a drink. I, I do it all the time when I show my friends. <laughs> and just people watch. Yeah. I like looking at the outfits. <sighs> what theme are we going with? Yes. And you see groups of like 10 of them coming in. You yeah. know what I mean? I, I mean, that's just, if you want to find Dimps, she's out on Broadway, <laughs> people watching. <laughs> people watching in Nashville is at an all-time high. Oh, my God. It's better it's than so watching kids and parents leaving the theme park. <laughs> 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 if you want to see some shit, just sit on a bench and watch parents and kids lose their shit leaving a theme oh park. Oh, my God. I, I actually heard this was becoming mandatory at Disney, but kids on leashes... I would. I can't. The yeah. first time I saw that, I was like, no. <laughs> no, I will never forget. Well, what else are you going to do? Get your ass over here. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I do not want a romantic cowboy. All right. right so I'm going to do this get. in front of you. The protector. Huh? No, we got to redo it. <laughs> <laughs> so Come on. Give me some. The rodeo one. Oh, that's Rip, right? Yeah, but I heard they were toxic too. Oh, I feel like every mm -hmm. yeah. you can you pick and pick your poison. <laughs> pick your poison. Yeah, but yeah, those girls down on Broadway, the Bachelorettes. Uh, in closing with the Betty thing, it's that they might go home to like Omaha, Nebraska, or somewhere yeah. that they live and be a first grade teacher. Uh. But when they're in Nashville. I'm telling you, they're I can't raging. tell you how many people who know me from social media and they're mm -hmm. like, I'm the principal, blah, blah. Do you want to do tequila shots? I'm like, <laughs> yeah. <Right. laughs> the, and this is exactly what the album is for. It's when the principal wants to come oh, do tequila shit. shots with you. A group of this fucking is her teachers album. and everything. Yes. But damn. No, you really get, they're just like, come drink with me. Yeah, they're That's like, amazing. They're like, we love you, Dimps. Can you come do tequila shots with us? We're first grade teachers. I'm like, you guys are my kind people because I love you know I love teachers my heart goes out to nurses teachers yeah. and stuff and they're human beings right like us. and they want to let loose so yeah. anyways the whole album top to bottom is party anthems for when girls just want to get we wild all, we listen as a woman we all have a little bit of a wild side mm -hmm. okay 
But I just, you know, I, to see you in person, to finally meet you, your success is just amazing. Thanks. I've been a fan of your last album, 17, you Thank know, you. since 2021. Oh I, do, I, I love my, you know, girly, you know, those, just those pop, you know, country hits, mm -hmm. you know? So I can't thank you enough for just coming on fucking Hitch and just cutting the bullshit, dude. Thanks. It's a, Hooch is, has become my new favorite for the way that they uh, are embracing Hooch. the wild side of country. Do you want to know the logo of Hooch is actually my dog taking a shit it's in the It's your hermitage. dog? It's Hermitage. No. Oh, I'll send you the video. Who has that video? Daughter, we're making a TikTok. We just ordered room service. No we're singing, way. Ain't no mountain high. Ain't no mountain you know, So we're minding our business. And poor Odie had tea time. And shit just, oh, God, just taking a massive dump Amazing. at the Hermitage. Anyway. <laughs> five star. I cleaned it up after my bubble bath water. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> the Hermitage. <laughs> Oh my god! Like at the hotel? Yeah, girl. No. Yes. Oh wait, I saw. Yeah, you and your daughter did like a staycation. Oh yeah, girl. We do it all the time. Oh, that's we so just like sweet. stay in Nashville. What hotel do you want to stay at? But yeah. the Hermitage. They the bellman will come walk your dog. I felt like you know no. Carrie Bradshaw, Sex in the City. Oh my you gosh, know? that's amazing! <laughs> and here's my dog taking a big old shit in the fucking. Hey, you know what? If your dog taking a shit can lead to the logo of the radio station. We just ordered breakfast, too. Crazier things have happened. Yeah. So it was just. Mm. <laughs> well, you're doing amazing. amazing and I, I cannot wait to see where your success Thanks. goes from here from now. And, you know, your beautiful family expanding. Watch. We're both going to have our kids with us at the next <laughs> event. <Yeah. laughs> you're going to have one on your hip and I'm going to have one just dancing in front. Amazing. <laughs> you know, I, yeah. Got to gotta make sure your kids have a good time. Yes, always, yeah. always. I'm always about a good time. Always. Well, girl, I can't thank you thank enough. Thank you. <laughs> you guys, are, thank you so much, baby, for coming on Hoots. We'll see you guys next time. Dimps' Shit Show, baby.